in any development life cycle, we cannot expect users to shift instantaneously from the old system to the new one. We have to provide a transition. Here in our system, we ensure that countries are entered in a unique way, foolproof for typing errors, but we have to understand also that in the manual system, like this one, users are bound to have typing errors. There are a few ones that I have tried to jot down here. And if we take a close look at them, we can find that most of them come through vowels errors. There exists actually an algorithm on the net called the Soundex algorithm, which caters for this, and we will try to adapt it to shoot our purpose here. Our ultimate aim here will be to create a function that is going to convert this form here in this format, the traditional format, into our format so that we can import data typed in by a user. Of course, like I've mentioned previously, there are some fields which I deem necessary to add in our form, like splitting the name of passengers into surname and name, splitting the telephone numbers. We take in our manual system two phones, I split it in the two individual phones value splitting the disease into individual values also and splitting the countries and visited countries into two values. I'm going to browse through the conform module so that we can have a look. There's a function called Soundex developed originally by Mr. Yanko which we will modify to shoot our purpose. I will go through that in details afterwards. There's a function category which split any set of characters into a coding. Any vowels will be omitted. We'll be replacing vowels by a slash. We'll be replacing all instances of these letters by one, all these letters by two, these letters by three, and so on. Four M N. Here you find that these are not the original letters of the algorithm. I have modified them to be able to include countries included in our list. I come to realize if I use the original Soundex algorithm which include one letter and three digits there are many countries which will be represented by the same value which is wrong for us. So I have I have added an additional digit to the algorithm, modified the lettering to create unique values based on this list, which is our short list of countries. So you can adapt it in any way you want to make it shoot your text. The important part here is to create a unique value and ensure that even if there are some typing errors, Mexico or anything, the value will still be the same. We can give it a try here if we put Even if we change it by anything, we find that it stays the same and this is important for us. I will go here briefly over the algorithm, but you can find it on the internet and read about it. It's quite straightforward. What we have modified here, you can find that it concatenates the result, which it takes the first letter of the text and removes all the vowels that we find through our function category. It will create a new text string according to this category. For example, if we take Niger, we are going to get N slash. Slash is for the I. G is replaced by 2. E is replaced by slash. And R is replaced by 6. However, in our list, we can find that we get Nigeria also. And this will result in the same string. A little trick that I've done here is that before it compiles completely, I will modify because we know that Nigeria will result in n slash 2 slash 6 and slash again. The difference between Niger and Nigeria is this slash. So once we get this value, I add another digit to it. 
so that I will be able to discriminate between Niger and Nigeria. Uh, these are little tricks that you can add to the coding to shoot your needs. This is the same as the original algorithm. This remove double letters, remove the second characters, and you'll find that ultimately the algorithm remove all slash so that here our Nigeria, which would be like that, will return back to a value where there won't be any slashes like that. And what I've added here, the padding, instead of four, we have added the fifth one here. We either truncate or leave the values. It is good to point out here that this function, like left, string, mid, or built-in function in Excel. So let's continue our conform. This is the main conform. I will just scroll down because in fact it's some coding to convert. We can find here we have a little bit of code to split because there are some passengers coming from abroad working. So if there is this word at the end, we are going to split by giving a flag to it, if it is an expatriate or not. We have one function to replace country common ways of writing to be able to limit the differences I've actually done a replace function. This re replace function is a built-in in Excel. We are replacing every spaces with a blank. So that ultimately if we get if we get everything in this format, we will replace them by the correct way of typing in our system. You can file typing Hong Kong like this or like this. Seychelles. These are the most common errors and here we are applying our Sandex algorithm and we are replacing back. This is the purpose of these two lists. Once we get our values in a Sandex format like that, we are doing a VLOOKUP function again in Excel to replace the Sandex value back to the right appropriate text. This is the function for checking if there is a digit. This is a function to strip characters. This function will actually import the new form into our sheet here you'll find there is a one sheet called conform in this sheet we are going to import the form type in the traditional way and from this one we are going to manipulate it to reach this format here here we have a function to replace the hotels against I use a VLOOKUP I use a short list for the way in the manual system it is type and in our system it is. These are the most well-known hotels in Mauritius so that when someone type Jalsa or Jalsa Beach it will be replaced by this. This is essential for the sorting and the merging as we will see later when this function imports into the main. I will go through that later. We can use actually Excel to mail and fax, but we need some special coding because by default it is not allowed. And in Windows 7, there are some touchy issues that we can cater for. We have to modify the, some script in Outlook to be able to recognize. We'll go through that later. This is a function to substitute localities, the common ways that have come across. We replace that as it is in our system for conformity. Grand B, GB, G point B, JB, and so on. These are the most common way.
that have streamlined we replace here the localities using the replace function sometimes you will find there are two ways that I've used it's more for exploring sometimes either ways work so here it is our conform and when we run it Here is, you'll find that I've modified that so that we have two set of functions one for inputting, and we have one for the processing. When we reach the conform, it's going to merge everything.